Jiu-jitsu, 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 jiu-jitsu. When it comes to spelling the art, one of these things is not like the others. Okay, so there are all these different ways to spell jujitsu, but which one of them is correct? Is it jujitsu or jujitsu or jujitsu? Is there a correct way to spell it? Is there really a difference? Yes, but no, but also yes. The short answer is technically the correct way to spell the word is jujitsu. Technically, all the other ways to spell it are variations and they all mean the same thing. However, the more interesting topic to grapple with is why we have so many spellings and in the form of a cultural point of view, how they might relate to different arts. So the first issue we come across is this. For all of our viewers who don't know how to read Japanese, what does this say? Now, this is the first hurdle in the process and I'm willing to bet that a significant amount of us cannot read Japanese. And those of you who know where I'm going with this have probably already guessed that this is the Japanese kanji for jujitsu. But you'd be wrong. This is the Japanese kanji for jujitsu. This means nose water. Now, this little attempt at levity may seem irrelevant, but I assure you it's not. So the first obstacle we come across is translation. English and other languages like French, Spanish, Italian use Roman or Latin alphabetic characters. It's one of the most widely used character sets in the world, so the conversion between languages often, well, translates. But when it comes to a language such as Japanese or Chinese that uses kanji and the visual characters, it could be a little tougher. There needs to be a bridge between the languages. That's where Romaji comes in. Romaji is a system of romanticized spelling used to transliterate Japanese. So we can then read words that sound like Japanese, but they use a Roman alphabet. Jujitsu is the traditional way to spell the art. Ju translates to gentle, and jutsu translates to technique or art. So the term jujitsu generally means gentle technique or gentle art. Even Jigoro Kano, the founder of Judo, referred to the spelling originally in a document called Jujutsu and the Origins of Judo. Now, on a side note, Do means way. So when Kano was deriving his art from Jujutsu, he called it Judo, as in gentle way. Several arts have been through the same shift. Aikido versus Aikijutsu, Kendo versus Kenjutsu, Karate Do versus Karate Jutsu. But that is a topic for a different discussion altogether. So why all the different versions? Well, first of all, there was a couple of different romanization methods that were used in different periods of time. So converting a graphical language into one using Roman characters is bound to have a few variations. Then there's also mispronunciations and alterations in how sounds are interpreted, especially with differences in culture. In English, we call large tropical cyclones hurricanes, but the original Spanish or Taino word is huracan. Through translation, accents, and time, different spellings of the word can emerge. Jiu-Jitsu is no exception. If you can imagine the word Jutsu being said, especially as it migrated over to the West, it can sound like Jitsu, and this spelling is often used instead. Now in Brazil, where Jiu-Jitsu was introduced, they didn't have the same Romaji, so that their spelling of the word was J-I-U for Jew, which is almost exclusively seen regarding Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Fun fact though, since we're talking about translating kanji, while Jutsu means technique, Jitsu actually translates to truth or reality. So technically, Jujitsu and Jujitsu are two different words. One means gentle technique and the other means gentle truth. Now, when it comes to using the hyphen or not, that's honestly up to preference. Jujitsu is a compound word anyway, so when translated into English, either way it can be considered correct. So with all this taken into consideration, we can now see why there are so many variations of the spelling, and a lot of it came down to how the forefathers use them. And speaking of forefathers, Art of One Dojo aims to honor the legacy of the martial arts. In this effort, we have released our forefather series featuring newly remastered portraits and philosophies of some of history's most iconic grandmasters. Visit us at artofonedojo.com and help us continue to build the martial arts community and to commemorate those who laid the foundation before us. So now that we've established that, technically, jujitsu is the official way to spell it. But in reality, there are multiple options to use. And the question becomes, well, how do you determine which one to use? Culturally speaking, there is a little bit more of a divide, albeit with blurred lines. With arts spreading from Japan into the Americas and Europe, different spellings became unofficially associated with these cultural lines. Generally, using the term jujitsu refers to the older, more formal Japanese system focused on traditions and combat techniques. Jujitsu generally refers to the westernized versions of the arts, which often have differences that transcend just the spelling. Traditional Japanese Jiu-Jitsu is often more structured and serious, focusing primarily on self-defense and combat. Uniforms are clean, white, and patchless, and school etiquette is more prominent. 
Western Jiu Jitsu schools tend to lean more to the relaxed environments with focus on both self-defense and competition. Patches are worn on uniforms and t-shirts or rash guards are usually worn under the dogi. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu schools tend to be different altogether. Now while there's a lot of overlap in some of the material, it emphasizes more ground fighting and while useful in self-defense, tends to be more focused on competition. So generally speaking, Jiu Jitsu is officially the correct spelling, but other variations are often seen and can be used interchangeably due to different translation differences, except for BJJ in that that's almost always exclusively spelled J-I-U as in Jiu Jitsu. Now it's not really that big of a deal overall, but sometimes these little details fascinate me and it's fun to know some of the history. Now for an additional little fun fact, this misspelling is almost exclusive to Jiu Jitsu. You don't see the Jutsu Jitsu variation in other arts. We don't see Aki Jitsu, Karate Jitsu, Ninjutsu, Kenjutsu, etc. It's almost always Jutsu. So in the end, it doesn't really matter how we spell it, just as long as Jiu Jitsu and Aijutsu, and we all do Jitsu. Now, Let's talk about why Jiu Jitsu of any kind is the most important art that you can add to your training regimen.